Kevin Samuels has apparently passed away at the age of 56. Stay tuned, my thoughts coming up. What the fuck? What up, what up? What's good, good people? Now, uh, today I'm gonna go a little bit off subject because uh, it appears that the news about Kevin Samuels is possibly gonna reign true, that he's no longer with us. And uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to do my part and to tell some of the positive in my life when it pertains to Kevin Samuels. Just because I know it's gonna be a lot of negativity that's gonna be flying around, which is sad, honestly, because this isn't play. I mean, the guy's gone. Uh, honestly, someone lost their son, you know, a young lady, you know, lost her father. And there's no laughing matter, matter by any means. But some of the positive that he's done in my life, because I was watching Kevin Samuels before he was relationship, you know, basically oriented to when he was a fragrance reviewer and dealt with style and fragrance. And so what he did for me was he opened my eyes to a lot of fragrances that I shied away from such as some of the heavy ouds, uh, some of the real musk fragrances. And I just shied away from him, but you know, like, looking at some of his reviews, he made it okay to give it a shot. And as I started to give it a shot, I started liking him. I saw the benefits of, of it. He opened my eyes to a vast array of fragrances that I just was not up on. And this was the Kevin Samuels I knew. And also, I gotta give him credit for increasing my grown man game because he took me out of the sneaker game and put me into quality shoes. You know, some Magnani's, some Carlos Santos, monk straps, Chelsea boots, and got my grown man up. And um, so he's done a lot of good. Now, when it comes to relationship, because that's where most people know him from, and that's where he really blew up and made his hay, but honestly, I've been married for roughly 10 years now. I've been out that game for a long time. And to me, when I watched the relationship stuff, yeah, it was just entertainment. It was, it was good fun. You know, people getting mad, mad. Other people going the other spectrum. But the back and forth, it was pure entertainment. I mean, <laughs> honestly, it's like he talked about, you know, men shooting out their league. He talked about women shooting out their league. And, you know, people got upset about it, but it got a reaction, which is cool. But I was never a part of that. I mean, I've been, you know, busy with my wife and raising three kids, which I just had my third kid a few months ago. And which brings me back to understanding that, I guess people from time to time need to see me because I get messages saying, hey, are you okay? Because you don't know what happened to me, where I am. And uh, so yeah, yeah, that's really what I've been doing and I need to be a little more active to say, hey, I'm, I'm still here, I'm, I'm alive and well. But um, I just really wanted to, to give some positive vibe to Kevin Samuels and what he's done for me. And uh, feel free to share any positivity. Eh, if you wanna share some negativity, go right ahead. But I mean, bear in mind the situation. And you know, if you still, feel evil and upset about what he said about a relationship, then yeah, feel free to chime in on that as well. But I say, God bless your little evil ass dog shit heart, but that's just you, you know, hopefully you can get over it. But um, all in all, honestly, it's a sad day. It's a sad day when anyone goes. I mean, we didn't learn anything over the past couple of years with COVID, Kobe, the volatility, the volatility of this is like you have to cherish people while they're here. Go home, hug your children, hug your parents, hug everyone that you love. Tell them, stop wasting time because we don't get always a long drawn out notice when someone's about to go. We just get left with that empty hole, wishing we had said something, wishing we had done something. So it's like, hey, Learn from all of this, the past couple of years. Learn and take advantage of today. Live for today and be you. But that's all I got. Hey, until next time, y'all be good.